Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Joshua. I'll be solving one of the problems um, in Code Signal. Next one is matrix element sum. And I have not done this for such a long time. This is actually an old piece of code. I'm going to try not looking at my answers before. All right, let's look at the problem. Becoming famous, the code boss decided to move into a new building together. Each of the rooms has a different cost and some of them are free. And there's a rumor that some are haunted. All right, let's get to the point. They refuse to stay in any of the free rooms or any of the rooms below any of the free rooms. Ah, okay. So if you see a zero in its column, any number below that, that means you definitely don't want to be in that room. All right, now you're given a matrix and a rectangular matrix of integers, and your task is to return a total sum of all the rooms that are suitable for the code bots. Oh, I see. So we're not returning the cost, but we're returning uh, the total number of rooms that are available. All right, well in that case, what we want to do is that we want to iterate through the matrix for the first value right here. So for each one, we start and we go down, down, next one down, down, down. So in this case, usually in the for loop, we iterate from left to right and then left to right to each line. And usually it looks like this. Um, let me think about this. I'll call it L2R to make it easier to understand. L2R is less than matrix dot matrix zero dot length and this is going from left to right right here that's what I'm doing L to R plus plus there you are but oh yeah we would definitely want to go left to right but um and yeah also that call this one int up to down this is the code for going up to down goes zero up to down is less than matrix dot length and then you I should choose better variable names next time because those underscores are annoying so usually what we do is we do all um, like we go from left to right right away like in usually when you're always solving those easy questions you just go left to right left to right left to right and for each row. But what I can do is that I could just change the order of the for loops. So now I'll be forced to go up to down right away. So for each column, which is be iterated from going from left to right, I want to go down this whole column until I reach a free room. So here's how I do this. So if, oh, and I need a counter for the number of rooms that they will be staying at. And let's just assume they start with zero. So let's say if the matrix at, hmm, now I decode this carefully or else I endanger, ah, yeah, up to down. So first put up to down first because it goes down by each array of matrix and then I'll go from left to right. Now this is equal to zero, break, if not, I increment that counter. Now, and after that, I return the rooms. Oh, yeah, return the rooms. So that's a basically easy question. I think this is self-explanatory. Let's hope I got this right, though, before I say it's too easy. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. I put four. All right, let me think about this. I put this nine. Oh no, I don't like to put up the number, the sum of rooms. I have to put, oh, the question, uh, wait, let me look at this. I have to put the total cost of the rooms. Dang. Okay, that changes the equation. So now I have to change, the, I'm going to go make this much more understandable. So I have to put the cost of the room, not, not the, 
Uh, so there you go. So this time I have to add the cost of the room instead of the just the number of rooms. Now if I run this, this should now pass. Hooray! Oh, slow down there. I have to submit this with all the hidden tests. Let's pray it works too. Yes! Oh my god, I'm on a roll today. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you put a like and subscribe, I'm going to send you two trillion dollars and that will fix the economy in your own respective country. Um, you know, no kidding, it's all in Bitcoin. You know how valuable Bitcoin is. Everyone believes in Bitcoin. Every single human being. No, just kidding guys. <laughs> I don't even have a single Satoshi. You guys have a good day. Cheers.